So this guy can control the dead, and we will be using him to do just that. Look at his little spirit buddy floating around. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. And so Corvus, my undead hero, and I, we will be doing a good amount of killing today. I've got this spell book with a whole bunch of different little spells in it. I also have a cold, so excuse my voice. But it looks like occasionally whenever balloons die in my little radius, I start getting mana, which I'm gonna be able to use for all sorts of goodies, it looks like. Go ahead and just cleave those, the uh, I just kinda wanna see what happens. Go ahead and cast haste. Oh wow, my spirit is much, much faster now. Okay. Up to round four though, we're able to cast spear now. Let's wait just a couple more rounds, some more balloons actually appear on my screen. And then, you know, when they do, we can still just kinda pop this cleave ability for more mana. Alright, level seven though, go ahead and cast spear now. It looks like it's that tiny little red, yeah, I'm just throwing it. Got the spear of Longitis helping me here. Wait, is this a permanent effect so long as I have the mana for it? That feels pretty good. Dismiss this though. I don't want to be out of mana quite yet. Oh yeah, also I should probably start uh, farming. Got my banana farm and now my farmer. This time he's just sitting on a little park bench though. Look at him. It's important to treat your workers with care. Now, how exactly do I go about learning new spells? It looks like, oh, at level seven, I'll get two more and then level 10. I see. Oh, hey, did I get a new thing? Temporarily use mana in place of lives when balloons get past your defenses? Wow, that feels extremely good. As well as this trample ability, which causes a whole stampede of spirits. I'm intrigued by that. Let's go ahead and give that a cast and, oh wow, this is just like Salda's ability, I think. Ride him, cowboy. Ride him all the way down. Wow, that's that feels very strong. You popped a lot of those guys. All right. The thing with Corvus is I'm really not 100% sure how he's going to fare against like higher level rounds just by himself. Unless, can I, I don't know, reap some balloons? And then if I were to cast Echo to where I have two spirits and then spear. Oh, cool. It, it gave them both spear. So that's twice as effective now. Also can get our second banana farm down. Corvus, you hanging in there, buddy? Here, have 300 mana into your body. We want you to level up fast and quick. I want more of those spells. Let's see now. I want to use aggression because now he, oh, he's, <laughs> he's like a red little mucus enemy thing. Maybe he's not really mucus. Maybe that's just my own personal sickness talking, but still. You got him, buddy. Keep letting him have it. I feel like I can kind of just leave this one always going. It took 80 to proc and it looks like it's taken like 10 every like three seconds seconds, but I seem to be replenishing back to 280 pretty much every time. So if I were to just cleave like so, yeah, we're up big. And I've got enough money now. I'm just going to go ahead and buy banana plantation, especially since this guy doesn't even use money. It's all mana. Do you want to try frostbound? Oh, cool. That just makes me like a temporary ice monkey whenever my spirit hits balloons. So we're up to around 25. Oh, can you not pop those energy balloons? Okay, place a ninja monkey and then we'll just, uh, I don't know, soul barrier real quick. Whoops. Well, now that I know Mr. Corvus can't pop everything. We'll bring some support over there for now. Little seeking, little double shot. You get it. Also, I'm going to go ahead and end aggression just because I want to start building up mana because I feel like these next spells are going to start getting more and more costly. Like this ember one. I'll cast that down. He just leaves, yeah, these nice little blue flame spots. Wow. He's actually extremely effective by doing this. And I think what I should maybe do also is put a tech bot on my little guy because I keep forgetting to use his cleave ability for more mana. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we, can we pop these by chance? Okay. Spear, go ahead and, oh God, that was strong. Yeah, just let him have it. Uh-huh. Spear seems to be working out great as a permanent ability. We'll just dismiss it for now is what I would say until more stupid balloons show up. Back to getting spear. Everything dies. And let's start getting my third banana facility up. I wonder if I dismiss spear and just put aggression back on if my spirit would actually manage to be able to pop those lead balloons. Or are they ceramic? One of them. More banana farm. Oh, and it looks like I'm about to hit level 7 for my spell book. Do I get something new? Oh, yeah, I'll get whatever this malevolence is. A popping mist around Corvus? That sounds crazy. And, well, just got it unlocked. So, for now, max out these banana farms. And then let's see it. Is it just... Okay, so this is the nuclear sub ability. That's pretty good. Is my little spirit guy even here anymore? Oh, no, right. He merged with the spell book. It's just constant DOT like this. Yeah. And look at how fast my mana actually ticks down but then i cleave and i get it all right back interesting but all right jungle drums grow blocker radar scanner whoa this spell also costs 440 mana well don't have enough for it what if i cast this wow that was insane oh wait i actually just used my ability for that i guess that checks out i don't really need to use my camo ability anymore i just i have a village oh hey a bunch of balloons ancestral might oh i'm just 
I'm a hand. I'm just a very grippy, grippy hand. I mean, yeah, whatever works, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple more farms down. Oh, and I forget he has this spirit walk ability that just lets me teleport to literally anywhere I want. All right, well, let's see how he does against a Moab. We'll cast aggression. That's getting some pops in. We'll cast spear as well. Looks like that's doing at least a decent amount of work. And now can we clean up? Yeah, the rest of the balloons. Will it be enough for level 100 though? We'll find out. Just for a little insurance, we're gonna have two overdrive tags here and let's go ahead and get our glue gunner this way my spirit can really just start letting loose i'll be curious to see these next three spells and if they're like super meta game changing or not also let's just give you mib let's spirit pop all types now so it should pop those pesky energy balloons oh hey i get the storm ability an onslaught of energy blades yep i mean that's definitely an onslaught it costs more than my spear though is that even really worth it and i'm over it we can dismiss it yeah buddy go get them absolutely just popping them all yep they don't want to make corvus easy to use they saw what happened last time a busted hero entered. Oh, and that's a lot of balloons now. We don't mind doing ember, right? Just poop some fire out wherever you want, buddy. It's extremely murderous for some reason. Ah, yeah. And he's just popping them all. How will he work with DDTs, I wonder? I wonder if I can just cast spear and somehow manage to keep my mana up time, like, going strong. Because look at that. Why? Yeah. The spear is so much better than storm in every way, shape, and form. I didn't mean to rhyme right there. It just happens sometimes. This Moab is probably going to get decently far, so we'll echo myself. Now I'm throwing two spears. Does that increase the amount of damage they do by chance i don't really know what if i were to cast repel also there we go now that's kind of working with them and second banana research facility something i should probably take into account whenever i'm worried about me dying is there's still a lot of map left to play and i only picked this winter map because of the christmas theme so i hope you like it also auto starts going on we're doing good enough all right it's big red evil moab time we're just gonna have storm going and then we're gonna cast spear as well that's putting a lot of damage into it which is nice however my mana is draining um pretty rapidly let's go ahead and cancel storm just get the spear going i knew i had my little ability coming up which was nice still have yet to pop it though kind of worrisome because now there's just four full moabs hanging out right there yeah okay we got them to pop and then we just got my tier five glue gunner so that's always handy hey what are you doing buddy get back to being aggressive oh i bet i ran out of mana for the first time in a while ah well that seems to work out nice enough there are a few other things that i really want to test and wow being aggressive doesn't work enough anymore okay there's a lot of balloons here storm spear aggression yep pop them all dude what happened why did i suddenly stop being able to pop every balloon that entered my radius is this aggression and spear not cut it anymore or something that's kind of bad if so but i want to buy my engineer monkey and save up to get that thing he does so well and i feel like you just got to do a little bit of a cycle cycle frostbound when frostbound's over go ahead and cycle ember that'll start popping them and then eventually when ember ends you go ahead and get repel to start pushing balloons back i guess when in doubt too just cast echo double your damage and you win yeah echo also does things extremely well so maybe instead of cycling ember and repel and stuff you just cycle until you can get echo again because that starts beating the crap out of pretty much everything like that yeah that was really really fast and really really deadly all right oh and now we're fighting fortified balloons yeah this is this is going great let's go ahead and just get homeland defense up just for the future okay how we doing uh well balloons are getting pretty far whenever they're a bunch of harding regens that actually you know what i was able to stop them. never mind we're fine let's start engineering my glue gunner now just so balloons really get stuck in this nice little circle of pain and more pain. Either way, going into round 79, we're hanging in there. I'm starting to be a little hopeful. And sure enough, I think we're going to be able to beat these fortified reds because they're just kind of stuck there thanks to my glue gunner. But now at level 13, I get a new spell. So we're just going to buy that. Because here comes the ZOMG. Fly on out here, buddy. Let's just go ahead and do overload. I think that just blew up my spirit. Yeah, he's slowly coming back. That did a big amount of damage, but not enough to pop the ZOMG. But back he goes again. Look at him. All right, well, here's aggression and spear back. I don't really know if overload is that good. Takes 500 mana and then has a very big cooldown and can't even pop the first level as the OMG. Yikes. I think maybe I just need to keep throwing spears. But all right, I've got $100,000. Let's get you to level 14. Now my spirit does more damage to balloons. And you know what? All the way to level 15 too. Look at me, I'm kind of rocking out. I think that said Ember gets stronger, so might as well just do that. Now I've got a lot more spiky points on me, I feel. Which I can only assume means I'm stronger and better than ever. Or I'm wrong and I'm an idiot but what are the odds of that? My big worry is going to be DDTs because they come flying out of the gate. I'm not really looking forward to that. Also, you know what? Fine. Do recovery. I don't even know what it does. I feel like I'm not recovering anything. Dismiss. Go back to what I was doing. I think I just wasted some time. And if you happen to see that I've built up two tier fives of the monkey village over here, just look the other way. It's a little something called insurance. Okay. All right. Well, one of my attack shooters kept shooting fireballs. So you're going to be tier four and that's it. But all right, let's ride this auto start all the way to wave 90 because that's going to be our true test. All right. Well, I'm here at round 90 
now. I started going malevolence with spear instead of aggression, but with the DDTs here, oh well, I forget that the glue gunner kind of keeps them trapped. In that case, maybe we should just go aggression and then like repel. Yeah, that seemed to hold out just fine. Ah, screw it. Corvus can haunt Moab class balloons. Wow. And at level 20, spirit's base damage increases, does extra damage to Moab's, ancestral might does more damage, overload does more damage. We're fully kitted out. Just maybe go ahead and get like monkey city over there and then just another call to arms although it's looking like round 94 we're hanging in everything is fine i'm even keeping like max mana basically which i did not think i would be doing but hey happy i am oh it looks like my harvest abilities cooldown is uh, much much faster now that i'm level 20 in which case that makes sense i feel like we're kind of fully seeing the spirit's max power then frostbound ember repel now yeah that popped all sorts of things here we can even echo it why not that's two spear throwing storm casting aggressive spirits may whatever balloon god have mercy on them and no my mana ran out that's fine let's get my stuff back that's yeah one homeland defense and trample ability later we're back up there maybe i should be using ancestral might instead now i just have a hammer fist that pop stuff get aggression back maybe a little ember going on in there maybe a little echo as well i'm a little worried when things get super fast like they are but it seems to be going fine. All right, bring on round 100. I want to go ahead and Ancestral Might while I've got the balloon right here. That should just be doing huge damage. Yeah, it's starting to get it popped. Dude, that's crazy. Wow. Crazy thing is I could even cast Spear while I'm here too and get Aggression back while I can. And now it's he's kind of being squelchy, but it's fine. My main issue that I'm running into right now is that I don't have a lot of balloons to pop that are giving me mana. At least not yet, because I will be Spirit Walking. Hey, buddy, miss me. Just needed to be here for my ability. These. you get it go ahead and cast storm because i think i did that at the right interval that i'm gonna get my one big mana gaining ability yeah up they shoot all right here have echo as well multiple evil spirits what's not to love here have some spears too maybe ember maybe frostbound my spirits are just still kind of focusing on the really strong balloons but that's fine they're popping them all go forth my friends i don't have any mana anymore wait why are these guys just stuck here like a, a frostbound glitch is anything gonna pop these they're kind of doing it themselves can i reap Hello? What's what's going on? Why I, I wasn't able to affect those balloons in the end, but it's fine, I guess. I mean, I beat round 100, so that's I win, right? Drop the confetti, hooray, yes, cheers, applause. Dude, this new hero guy is kind of fun. I think that'll be it for me, though. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.